Good morning, coaches. We are Team 231411 from Dao Sisson Boys School. Today, we will be presenting our research on the upper bound of anchor packing problem. The anchor packing problem is as follows. A set of anchor points is given, and we determine a set of smaller polygons to be fitted within a larger shape S without overlap. The packed polygon GI has its lower left vertex at PI. The lower left anchor packing problem is previously explored by Dimitris and Toff by achieving constant coverage. Our report focuses on the minimal upper bound of coverage packing G with rectangles, triangles, and n-sided polygons with shape S being a square. Let's first define a staircase tile. Ti from the union of all possible maximally drawn polygons of an anchor point. It is drawn by a set of lower staircase points R and a set of upper staircase points K. For example, this is a tile formed by the union of upper right points. We then define a source point so we can draw a set of polygons from O to opposite vertices to form a tile. The initial point is the source point at origin, which forms the leftmost and lowest polygon in shape S. Next, extensions are proportions of polygon drawn by some source point with x or y coordinates more significant. The diagonal of any anchor point PI is defined as the line y equals x minus xi plus yi. The area coverage of any convex polygon packing P is reduced maximally if, when for all i, exists point j that's not equal to i and lies on the diagonal of point i. The minimax possible coverage on diagonal is 1 half plus epsilon. This is an L tile formed on the diagonal of P with P prime with equal horizontal and vertical extensions. We prove this lemma by induction. The base case starts with a set of two points on a diagonal. The possible coverage drawn by two rectangles is max xy plus 1 minus x 1 minus y. Area CD, denoted by two squares, are always covered. First, area xy plus 1 minus x 1 minus y has to be minimized. It follows that x equals 1 half and y equals 1 half would be minimal yielding a coverage of 75%. Then, we assume that the proposition SK holds for some K greater or equal to 2. We denote the minimal optimal packing coverage for K anchor points as AK, and the constructed optimal configuration for K anchor points as CK. For N equals K plus 1, we first perform a homophony of CK equals RKCK. Point CK is packed inside CK plus 1, anchored at the lower left. The tile of all possible maximally drawn rectangles from CK extend to boundaries of the unit square. The vertical and horizontal extensions of CK sum up to area 1 minus RK. From that, the recurrence relation for K plus 1 points is area with K points times RK square plus 1 minus RK. To find the minimal of possible coverage, we find the first derivative of AK plus 1 by RK. After differentiating, we get AK RK equals 1 half, and we put it into the recurrence relation. First, AK minus AK plus 1 is greater than 0. By simplifying our results, we know area with k points is larger than 1 half and larger than k plus 1 points. Therefore, A is monotonally decreasing convergence. When k tends to infinity, the coverage tends to 1 half plus epsilon. Here is a visualization of a L tile of P prime closely constructed on a diagonal of P. When P prime lies on a diagonal of P with horizontal distance delta, the coverage is given by max width height over width plus height minus delta. As delta goes to 0, the coverage is max width height divided by width plus height, which is greater than one half with equality when width equals height of the L tile. We note that only a point P prime is needed for the construction of L tiles on P. Thus, L tiles can fill a diagonal by tessellation. A L tile has a coverage of one half plus epsilon. This holds true independent of the size of L tiles. By parametrizing, the limit is evaluated to constant m. The same applies to y. Since m is a constant independent of xy, L tiles on a diagonal can have minimal length and height that don't overlap with other diagonals. General cases are cases using this property. Lemma 2 states the coverage within a border function b is less than or equal to that outside of b. First, we have to define what is a border function. Border function bi for a source point is a smooth approximation of upper right vertices of the tile at pi. Border function is constructed by putting anchor points to block the extensions from PI such that all maximally drawn polygons from source point to BI are equal. Hence, we know BI can always degenerate to the general case. We will prove that on a case-wise basis throughout this paper. We now investigate the upper bound of LLARP. It can be divided to two cases, the general case and single source point. For these two cases, the minimum density is one half and one third respectively. We begin with single source point. 
Recall that only one rectangle can be drawn from the source point in this tile. Our goal is to minimize the density and maximize the area under BI. First, BI touches the square to reduce its density. All maximally drawn rectangles in BI are equal to maximize the area of BI. From these two properties, BI is defined by y equals a over x, where a is the area of maximal polygon drawn. In this case, there are at least two anchor points from P with increasing x coordinates. From lemma 1, packing on a diagonal gives a coverage of one half. Note that the bound is affected by partially overlapping tiles. We then jointly analyze both cases. Let A be the polygon area within the border function. For the overall coverage in a square, we derive the coverage function as the sum of A and the area out of the border function by general case. To minimize FA, we solve F prime A equals zero. It shows that at A equals D to the negative two gives the smallest coverage of 43.2% in square. This is a visualization of the optimal rectangle packing. A L tile on the diagonal is shown, and the dotted lines represent diagonals built by many small L tiles. Similarly, triangle packing is divided to two cases, single source point and a general case. The overall coverage is 1 minus D to the negative 8 over 4, which is about 24.99%. For single source point, we first find a curve C in the first quadrant, such that the area of triangle maximally drawn resides on xy axis and the hypotenuse lies below C is exactly A, the maximal triangle area. Assume we can parameterize y in terms of x, the x and y intercepts are shown on the side in relation with the derivative. Since this so for all x naught, we derive a differential equation for curve C. Then we have two cases. First, the y double prime equals zero gives a straight line. While for the other case, we reject the solution of y equals kx as it only accounts for one maximal triangle. Thus, the other term resolves to xy equals k. Then we check for xy equals k by substituting y equals k over x back to the differential equation. We get 4k equals 2a, and y equals a over 2x is the border function of single source point. The general case of anchored triangle covers half of that of anchored rectangle. In an L tile, where P prime approaches P on the diagonal, lines from X to Y are near horizontal and Y to X near vertical. The area of maximal triangle at P is shown. It shows one half of rectangle's coverage and gives a coverage of 25%. We then jointly analyze both cases. Similar to the overall coverage of rectangle, we derive the coverage function as such and set the first derivative to zero. We find A equals 2D to the negative 8 with a minimal coverage of near 24.99%. Next, we generalize to N larger than 4 sided polygons. Since N sided polygons are convex, they degenerate to rectangles and triangles for general case and single source point. Consider a line on the N sided polygon which is tangent to B at vertex U. There is an angle theta. Theta plus alpha is the interior angle of the convex polygon which is smaller or equal to pi. We project a ray from u to the x-axis. A triangle u, u prime 3 is formed. The area of the triangle is simplified to u, u prime squared tangent theta over 2. For the triangle to be maximal, theta grows towards pi over 2. But theta is less than pi minus alpha, the maximal contraction shows theta plus alpha equals pi, which is a straight line. By symmetry, this can be applied to the y-axis for vertical extensions. We deduce that for n the polygons, the side tangent to B will extend to x-axis for y-axis for maximal coverage. For the case of single source point, we further extend the idea of the tangent line to form a triangle with x-axis and y-axis. The least cut triangle of equal area is the largest polygon. Thus, we can apply our findings in triangle packing. From our proposition that the side tangent to the tile will extend to x and y-axis, inside the convex polygons will degenerate to rectangles and triangles to fit AL tiles. Thus, the maximum coverage of the general case for n sided polygons is 50%. We will then derive the coverage function for n sided polygons. We set the first derivative to be 0 and get a equals 2d to the negative 4. We substitute a back to the coverage function. Thus, the minimized maximum coverage is 49.1%. This is a visualization of optimal polygon packing with a triangle formed under the border function and the dotted lines represent L tiles out of the border function. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.